The first thing to remember about probiotics is that they're alive. They're living organisms that are taken by people and fed to animals to benefit their health. And like all living organisms, we refer to them in their zoologic terms of genus and species. Bacillus subtilis or Lactobacillus acidophilus, for example. But within a genus and species of bacteria, monumentally important differences exist among individuals. And we designate those individuals and their trillions of identical clonal copies as a strain. When looking for benefits in people and animals, strain matters more than genus and species. So let's talk about genus and species a little more. When it comes to people, all humans on Earth are Homo sapiens, but there are certainly some notable differences among individuals. If you were to compare me with Usain Bolt, the fastest man in the world, for example, at the level of our DNA, we are 99.9% .9 identical. But if you had to select one of us to compete in an Olympic sprint, who would be the better choice? I'll give you a hint, it's not me. That 0.1% difference in genetics plays an essential role when selecting an individual for a specific purpose. Here's another example, dogs. If we're talking genus and species, all dogs are Canis lupus. But take a look at these two examples of Canis lupus. One is a 200 pound Russian Avcharka. The other is a five and a half pound Papillon. If you're looking for a dog to guard a junkyard, which Canis lupus do you think would more likely get the job done? So this idea is not new. In many scenarios, we can select an individual within a genus and species that is best suited for a particular purpose. And at Christian Hansen, that's exactly what we do for probiotic bacteria. We know that the genetic variation between individual bacilli of the same species is at least 180 times greater than the variation between me and Hussein. So that's 18% if you're calculating. And if we zoom in on that 18%, we find extremely important differences in many key functions, like the ability to germinate, to produce antimicrobial peptides, or to metabolize amino acids. Our job is to find the individual strains with the best genetic gifts and to use them to the benefit of animals and people. That's why strain matters.